patient-specific functional scale can be used to quantify activity limitation and measure functional outcomes for patients. It is a questionnaire based on the tasks specific to the patient's life. The patient-specific functional scale can easily show treatment effect when comparing with and without devices and when tracking rehabilitation effect over time. A clinician or an assistant helps the patient generate one to seven activities. These activities must relate to the treatment goals of the device. To make it easier to rate, cue the patient to identify activities that are important to them and are part of their regular routine. For example, activities that take place in or around the home, at work, or are recreational or social in nature. Common walking based activities such as walking indoors, in hallways, larger rooms, or stairs, or outdoors, around the home, over uneven ground, in the mall, around work, errands, and public transit or more rigorous activities such as jogging, hiking, and playing. Household-based activities such as cooking, food prep, and dishes, cleaning, laundry, and vacuuming, personal hygiene and various transfers, lawn maintenance, gardening, snow shoveling, or taking care of grandchildren are all good examples. Other commonly reported activities include grocery shopping, running errands, Recreational activities such as golfing, bowling, biking, archery, curling, soccer, basketball, gym, and weights, getting in and out of a vehicle, or climbing ladders. At some point during the initial assessment, cue the patient to identify and rate one to seven activities. Once the activities have been recorded, the patient can begin to rate each activity using the patient-specific scoring scheme. Read the passage inserting the 1 to 7 identified activities. Then the patient or client scores each activity on a scale from 0 to 10. To calculate the total score, sum each of the activities and divide by the number of activities. At the follow-up appointment, after the patient has acclimatized to the device, have them re-rate the 1 to 7 activities. At the follow-up appointment, read the following passage and insert the previously identified activities. The patient scores each activity without seeing the initial assessment values. In this case, the patient identified several activities that were important to him. The first being regular walks of 1 to 2 kilometers. The second activity that was identified during the initial assessment was gardening. The third activity that was previously rated was lawn maintenance. Being able to use an 8-foot ladder for chores around the home was another activity identified by the patient. And having recently returned from a vacation, it was possible for the patient to rate their level of ability for this activity as well. The total score 
from the initial to the follow-up episodes show a large difference or treatment effect. In some cases, performance task-based outcome measures don't show a large treatment effect. The patient-specific functional scale, however, being so individualized to the patient's goals, usually does. In this particular patient, a 10-meter walk test and 2-minute walk test showed little difference. Similarly, the timed up and go and 5 times sit to stand tests showed little difference between the initial and follow-up episodes. However, when the patient was asked to come up with several activities that were important to her and her mobility, a much more dramatic treatment effect was observed. Activities such as walking for fitness, outdoor photography, trail hiking, and standing while teaching was able to demonstrate a large difference between the initial and follow-up appointments. In summarizing the patient-specific functional scale, besides it being free, it easily quantifies treatment effect, with appropriate activities will not suffer from floor or ceiling effect, there's no setup or equipment required, it takes very little time to administer and score, approximately 5 minutes, does not require a clinician to collect it, and can be administered in the clinic, off-site, online, or even over the phone. With most outcome measures, the patient or client has to fit the test. A pain scale is great if you work in a pain clinic. With the patient-specific functional scale, the test fits the patient every time.